You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of my friends around the world. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. 77 degrees going up to a high of 90 so it's gonna be a little warm it's gonna be a little warm this morning i can't complain though because it could be worse but it's not hope you guys are having a great day listen it's hump day baby you have made it to the middle you got two more days and wake up and it'll be the weekend yes 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 i know some of you think some of you some of you are probably saying thank god thank god it's wednesday i know i know and then on friday be thank god it's friday But anyway, it's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. Your girl was up early this morning. Remember I told you I got a gym buddy, so I had to get up this morning and go to the gym. It was so crazy, though, because I felt so tired this morning until when I was driving to the gym, I felt like my eyes were closing up. So my clock went off at 545, and I was like, oh, God, I hit the snooze button. And then I ran at, at 554, jumped in the shower, and was on my way. But I'm glad I did it. I had to do it. I said I wanted to do it. I got me a gym buddy. My gym buddy showed up. We we worked out, and then I came back and I hosted the um, uh, Greater East Side Chamber of Common Commerce Open Networking event that happens every every uh, Wednesday at 8 a.m. The the host who is Mark Ham was on vacation, so I had to come back and co. I had to come back and host that whole thing. And it's a live stream event that we do every Wednesday where we let business owners come on there, talk about their businesses live stream to Facebook. So we did that this morning. So I've been busy. I've been busy since early this morning, and I ain't complaining. I'm not complaining at all. But anyway, let's get on with this show. Today is Wednesday, July the twentieth. It is National Fortune Cookie Day. Yes, look at it. Get you a fortune cookie and see what's in store for you today. Yes, National Fortune Cookie Day. It's also National Lollipop Day. Lollipop, shout out Lollipop, Lollipop. Okay, I'm not gonna sing that. It's National Moon Day. Oh, well, that's nice. National Moon Day. You know, that's why they had the pictures of the moon today. I thought that was pretty, cu- pretty cute. I was like, oh, look at the moon. So it's National Moon Day. National Pennsylvania Day, shout out to Pennsylvania, National Pennsylvania Day, and National Hot Dog Day, yes, y'all, listen, you like hot dogs, today is your day, I know some people who love hot dogs, I know some people who don't like hot dogs, I like hot dogs, as a matter of fact, um, we, every time we go home to Albany, we stop at Jimmy Hot Dogs, that, that hot dog place has been there for 100 years, y'all, in Albany, Georgia, yes, every time, as soon as we, as soon as we come off 300, and come over the river because we call it over the river. And the reason they call it over the river because you have to drive over the river to get to the other side of town. So to get to the south side, from the east side, you drive over the river. So my people in Albany know exactly what I'm talking about because, you know, when I used to live in Albany, we lived on the south side. Then my mother moved over the river. So it says, where do you live? We live over the river. <laughs> that sounds country, right? Listen, that's my home. I love it. I love it. Anyway, when we go there, the first thing we do when we get off of 300 and come over the river is go to Jimmy Hot Dogs and get us a hot dog. I wonder if, if Jimmy's having a special today because hot dogs, and they sell up some hot dogs, y'all. I'm talking about people being lying about them hot dogs, but it's been like that. In my, ever since I, Ever since I can remember, people have loved Jimmy Hot Dogs. And so when we go home, we buy them by the bags. Like my brother bought 20. I bought 10 for myself. I bought six for one of my uncles. I bought 10 for the other uncle. I bought six for my daughter. Yeah, that kind of thing. And we put them in the freezer and freeze them. Because when you when you throw them out, they still taste really good. So my brother ate up all his. And my brother bought 20. He had ate seven by the time we left. And we left the very next day. And I said to him, you should go buy some more because the kids are not going to get any. Because he, cause you're eating them all. So I don't know how many the kids actually got. But I know he ate seven by himself. Seven. I think I ate... I bought 10, I think I ate four, and I had, no, I ate, I ate four while I was there, and I had, and that was over, that was over like, no, I ate three, I ate three while I was there, and then three when I came back, and then it was three, the rest were in the freezer, but my brother ate seven the same, like, he ate two standing inside the hot dog stand, like, he was standing there waiting for me to get my order, because I had a big order, and so while he was waiting, he was sitting at the counter, he was standing at the counter eating, like, two, like, and then by the time the night was over here at 8, 7, I was like, bruh, the kids are not going to get any. You're going to be the ate them all up. Anyway, that's our hot dog story. 
Let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology Mike Catholic for today, Wednesday, July the 20th. We're going to kick it off like we always do. You know what that is. That is with Aries. The advice you get today may be based on false information. Don't gamble. Don't gamble unless you can afford to lose. Try to avoid any drastic decisions concerning personal legal matters. Listen here. Check the information. Check your source, Aries. If you know that person is not a reliable person, or you know that person tell lies or exaggerate the truth, do not, do not take that advice from them because it could be false information because they are just not the most trustworthy person or person of integrity. So listen, consider the source. Consider the source, Aries. I'm just trying to help you out today. Taurus, <laughs> avoid being intimately involved with clients or colleagues. Remain calm and you will shine. Passion should be your goal. You, had, you can have a working relationship with children if you exercise patience and understanding of the dilemmas they face. All right, listen, avoid. The key word there today, Taurus, is avoid. Avoid being intimately involved with your clients or colleagues. That could backfire in your face. It could be ugly. I have told y'all that story a million times about me um, dating someone who worked at the same job, and then we broke up. Everybody knew we dated. Not only did we date, we had a kid. So we had a kid and we worked at the same place. And when we broke up, everybody knew. Everybody knew because he started dating somebody in the same place. We worked at a hospital. Then I kind of dated somebody for a second in the hospital. And then the girl that he dated came and stopped by my desk one day. She And she was really nice. She was like, look, I'm not trying to disrespect you. You know, he said you guys are broken up. And I was like, look, go for it, girl. But you need to tell him to stay away from my desk, right? Every day he's at my desk at lunchtime. And then I remember one time... You know, he had told her some nonsense about he's he was only with me to take care of the baby. I said, girl, he just asked me to marry him this morning. And she was like, what? So when we came outside, of course, she was she didn't know. She knew he was going to be out there because I said, watch, he'll be right outside when I come out. He was out there talking smack. And then I said to her, yeah, he asked me to marry him yesterday or this morning. And she was like, really? I was like, yep. I said, so him telling you that he's with me just for the kid, that's a lie because uh, that's not true. And it wasn't true, but he was trying to, he was trying to keep the candle lit at both ends. And I was, me, I'm a little crazy sometimes about stuff like that. So I was like, look, you need to fall back from me because I'm not the one. And he did after I, after I like, um, like after I showed him like, don't play with me. I ain't the one. I'm just saying I ain't the one, Gemini. Expect to have more people on your domestic scene. Look into ways that can, that you can make extra cash. Mingle with those who can help you get ahead. Yes. You want to make some extra cash? Gemini, there's so many ways out there to make extra cash right now. I'm talking about if you just go to YouTube and type in side hustle, every kind of side hustle possible can come up. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you, Gemini, because I know you think it's going to be quick. It's not going to be quick. It's a side hustle, which means it's a small part-time business on the side, but it's not going to be quick. You know, only, I don't know what, I don't know how to make quick money. Well, you know what? That's not true. You want to make some quick dollars? Drive, drive for Uber, drive for Lyft. Those are quick. Though that's quick money. But if you're trying to start a side hustle, not quick. Not, not, not no, not no business side hustle. If you just want to make a few extra dollars, all you gotta do is go in there and put your Lyft information in. All this stuff. Cause I, I talk to people, and I, I remember we were in Florida. We were in Miami one year for my birthday, and the, the Lyft driver came to pick us up. Cause we didn't, we didn't rent no car. You don't really need to rent a car anymore. We took Uber. No, I think it was Uber. It was Uber or Lyft, one of them. I think it was a Lyft. Anyway, they picked us up, and it was this really nice guy, and I was saying to him, I'm, and whenever I get in a car, I always ask people questions. And, and most of the time, people don't, people don't mind talking to you. So I asked the driver, I said, how long you been driving? I, and I want to say it was a Lyft. How long you been driving for Lyft? He's like, you know, I started, I think he had been driving like six months. And he was telling me how he had lost his job, and, you know, he was like, I got to make some money for my family. And he discovered Lyft. And he was telling me, he said, I make $4,000 a month with Lyft. I'm like, what? He was like, yes. He said, so what happens is, he said, what happens is that he drive at nighttime, early in the morning and nighttime, like late at night, because that's when people, they need a lift. And the, I guess the fees are higher or something because it's late at night. Anyway, he was making $4,000. So lift could be an easy way for you to get started as long as you got a good clean driving records and a driver's license and all that good stuff. And you can, um, you know, you can, because I think the criteria is pretty easy. But if you're trying to do a side hustle, side hustle, that's a business, yeah, it, you can start it, but it's a business, so it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time or some revenue. Because if you got money to pump into your side hustle, you can speed up the process because you can hire all the people you need. 
So you have to learn how to do everything. That's normally what happens with most people. Like they, they start a side hustle. They don't know how to do anything, but what that thing is, and it takes so much more to make your side hustle become prosperous. So if you don't have the capital to put into the side hustle so you can grow quickly, right? Um, then you're going to be stuck trying to learn everything and do it by yourself because that's, you know, that's the mentality and it's going to take you much longer. All right. Cancer, it will, it will do you some good. Do not sign your life away. Time to deal with institutional environment, in uh, environments, um, government agencies and matters of private, of private natures today. Time to deal with institutional environments, government agencies and matters of private nature today. You got to deal with that stuff. Whatever it is, you, you owe the government some money, you got to deal with it, can't run from it, cancer. You know, the environment is screwed up where you are, institutional environments, you got to deal with them. Private nature matters, you got to handle your business. Today is the day. Yes, you got to do that. And in the meantime, don't sign your life away. Be sure to pay attention to the dot, all the small print. Sm breathe the small print today, cancer. Cause you don't you don't want to sign your life away. And you know what I always say: if it's something in there you don't understand, don't sign it off. Consult a professional. Let them read through for you and make sure you're signing the right thing. All right, cool. Leo, don't let the cat out of the bag. Travel will be exciting. It's a good day for romance. All right, listen here, Leo. In order for you not to let the cat out of the bag, keep your mouth shut. And most of the Leos I know they don't talk that much anyway. Like I don't I don't know about them letting the cat cat out the bag. Um, intentionally, now there could be some some oops in there, but for the most part, they're pretty like quiet on when, on when it comes to that kind of stuff. Anyway, travel is going to be exciting. Where are you going to go? Speaking of traveling, I'll be going to Jersey next week. I'm excited about that. I haven't been to Jersey since last year in March, so I'm looking forward to that. And my sugar baby is going with me, and my daughter, and my husband. So it's the four of us. We're going to Jersey. Gonna have a good time. Looking forward to that. So you do some traveling too, Leo. All right, Virgo, complete those hobbies you started a long time ago. Be prepared, be prepared to lose friends or alienate people if you insist on being your old stubborn self. It's a favorable time for real estate investments and money-making opportunities to be successful. All right, look at you. All right, the time is now. You got to pull the trigger, Virgo. The time is now. But here's the thing. Do your due diligence. I know it's a great time for real estate. I know it's a great time for money-making opportunities. But don't just jump on any deal. Do your due diligence. Find out what it take, what it's going to take to make that thing successful. Don't just pull the trigger because it looks good. Because everything that looks good ain't good. Every, let me say that again. Everything that looks good is not good. So do your due diligence to make sure that the money-making venture that you're about to jump into makes sense and make dollars. All right? All right. I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology, Mike Thighs, and stay tuned. <laughs>
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. You can make new friends if you get involved in group activities. Opportunities to get together with friends will be enlightening and entertaining. Organize your day well if you wish to accomplish all you set out to do. Organization is the key, baby. You need to be organized. So if you're trying to make some big things happen, you need to organize yourself. In the meantime, um, opportunities to meet some new people could be enlightening and entertaining. That sounds really nice. You got to do some group activities, though. You're not going to meet them sitting at home. Well, that's not true. It depends on if you want a networking event, a virtual networking event. You could, but I'm all about face-to-face. -face. However, I heard there's a new strain of COVID going on. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm trying not to think about it. Like somebody sent me this long message last night. I'm like, listen, I don't even want to think about that because now every time you sneeze, you get a headache, you get an earache, whatever, you think COVID. I was like, I don't want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Let's keep it moving. Scorpio, you must not lead someone on your lead someone on or show interest in them for the wrong reason. Instances gestures of friendliness are likely to occur. Your leadership ability will, will enhance your reputation. All right, listen, Scorpio, if you don't like that person for real, like don't play them out. Don't try to play with the emotions. People have feelings, right? So don't be so selfish because you're trying to lead them on, show interest for all the wrong reasons. Whatever that reason is, if it's not genuine, fall back. Don't do that. It's going to backfire on you. I'm going to tell you that right now. If your reasons are wrong, it is going to backfire on you. And it's going to be you that get, get caught out there. I'm just trying to help you out and save you some trouble. Sagittarius, you can enhance your reputation if you treat your family and friends with respect and dignity. Some of the extra energy you have stored up might just be put to good use. Be honest with yourself before getting involved with someone who is likely to lead you on. Be honest with yourself, Sagittarius. What do you want? Is that person right for you? Are you there for the wrong reasons? You know, are you where you want to be? Be honest with yourself. Are you desperate? Are you settling? Be honest with yourself. Because here's the thing. If you're not honest with yourself, you get into that situation and you know that you're screwed up, you're going to screw up somebody else's life. Don't do that. Don't do that, Sag. Don't do it. I'm just trying to help y'all out. Capricorn, use some diplomacy to get your point across delicately. Children may be less than honest with you. Don't let your partner put you down. Capricorn, if that person is not trying to build you up and lift you up, you know what I mean, and, and, and stand you up, don't let them put you down. That's not the right person. I'm just saying, because you want a partner that is there to help you. You're going to help that person grow. They're going to help you grow. Y'all going to hold each other when you want to fall down. That kind of person. Not the person that's going to put you down and make you feel bad, make you feel worthless, even though that only you can do that, but they can try. Th that may not be your person. Is that your person, Cap? Listen, if you see the red flags, notice the red flags. Aquarius, spend time with your lover today. Someone around you may be may not be trustworthy. Outbursts of passion may cause arguments with your mate. All right, listen. You're going to spend some time with this person today, Aquarius, but don't get all crazy with it, right? Just keep calm, right? And don't start problems where there are no problems. Don't do that. Because outbursts of you have... Listen, don't be jealous. Even if you see somebody looking at that person, don't be all crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? Have a good day. And somebody else around you is lying to you. So just wash your back for that one. All right, last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. Don't, keyword here being don't fish, don't overspend on luxury items. Acknowledge your lover's needs. Your interest could lead you down avenues you never realized existed. Okay, what kind of avenues we about to go down, fish? What kind of avenues are we on? Yes. Okay, so listen, we're going to curb the spending today. I get it. You want to go out and buy some luxury, luxurious, not today. It's not for you to do that today, fish. Have some restraint, why don't you? Okay? And acknowledge your lover's needs. Okay, what are those? Okay, I'm just, I'm kidding. You see how I said that? I said that like, oh my God. Okay, listen, here's the thing though. If you don't acknowledge your lover needs, Jody and the cleanup woman just may. So you might want to check that thing out. Hey, you know, roll up on them, bump into them, whatever that is. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, fish. Because Jody and the cleanup woman is waiting for you to drop the ball. I'm just trying to help you all out now. Listen, I'm taking that. Listen, I'm taking my own advice too. Don't think I'm over here just flapping my gums. I'm taking my own advice. I'm going to roll, listen, roll up on them. Hey. Bump into them, hey, yes. 
And these interests we about to find, these 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 uh these avenues we about to go down. I don't know about you, but I hope at the end of the block it's a whole lot of cash. That's all I'm saying. If I'm about to go down an avenue that I've never realized existed, I hope by the time we get to the end of that block of that avenue, it's a whole lot of money sitting at the bottom. I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it real. Put it out to the universe. Universe, I am so grateful and thankful that I'm about to go down an avenue that leads to a whole lot of money at the end of the block. I'm so thankful and grateful for that. Yes, I got things I want to do. I got this car I want to buy. Yeah, it's a luxury car. I've never owned a luxury car. Not that I couldn't have. I just didn't. I think I'm having like um midlife crisis. I want a luxury car. Um, I think I told y'all this story. Like my brother has always owned luxury cars. And it was so funny because I always go back to the story when my mother bought us a car. Like she bought us a car at the same time. And he he got a like a sports car and I got a Nissan Sentra. And I was so it was brand new though. It was spanking brand new. They lifted up the showroom glass and I drove out. But it I don't know. My mindset didn't say go in there and get me a, a, a sports car. My brother had a red sports car. And I had a brown Nissan Sentra. And and my mom bought them both for us. And she was... Now, let me tell y'all something. My mother was a single parent. But when my brother and I... When, I, when, we, when we had this conversation the other day, we didn't really want for anything. Like, we didn't live in the best places. We grew up in Newark. But, but we didn't really want for anything. And I said to him, he's like, but we were poor. I said, we were poor by housing standards i said but think about all our friends we had pretty much everything we wanted and now by the time we turned like 20 and 21 she bought both of us cars he got a sports car and i got a nissan Sentra, which is hilarious but i've never had a i've never had a luxury car he always he's always driven like these luxury fancy kind of cars and i didn't like i had a to this day i got it i got a chair i got a i got a jeep so i had a jeep he had an infinity jeep that's how crazy that is. I could have gotten a, a Jeep, you know, but I got a regular Jeep, Cherokee. He had an Infinity Jeep. I had a regular Jeep. I had a Jeep Patriot. I think I got a, I had a Jeep Sport. I have a Jeep Patriot now. And it's so funny because I just think about that. And I'm like, okay, so why did not I want luxury cars back then? But I want one now. So anyway, in the meantime, I'm not going to get that luxury car today, Fish, cause, because our horoscope said don't overspend on luxury items. So that won't be the car today. However, that's something I want. So at the end of that block, I'm looking for the bag, baby. I'm looking for the bag at the end of the block going down this avenue about to go down. All right? All right. So all the horoscopes I got for you today, I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noda Astrology, Micah Thyssen. Now let's get on to some news that you can use. I got I to gotta say this real quick because this is, in, to me, this is important, you know, um, I do not consider myself to be a journalist. I am a podcaster. And, you know, um, when you think about these industries that we're in, that, that's why, because I talk so much trash. I don't, I definitely don't consider myself to be a journalist. Now, some people may say I am. I don't, I don't, I don't think that way. But there are people who are in media and entertainment who are really professional and that's what they, that's their craft. Now, podcasting is my craft. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a journalist, um, but I'm a podcaster. But anyway, this story right here, I just wanted to talk about it because I felt like it was something that needed to be talked about. So, um, back in 2018, Monique, you know, the comedian Monique, she filed a lawsuit where she accused um, Netflix of, like, discrimination uh, of underplaying, underpaying black women. Now, is that a surprise? No, that's not a surprise because we are still dealing with that type of crap, like, right now. So, anyway, she, she sued them because she wanted to... Um, they offered her a deal for, for a half a million dollars, but they offered Amy Schumer a deal for $11 million, and then they offered Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock $20 million deal, doing the exact same thing, telling freaking jokes, right? So what makes them think that she's only worth $500,000, where Amy is worth $11 million, and Dave and, 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 and Chris Rock worth $20 million each? So she sued them and she 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 boycotted them and people were kicking her back. They were kicking her back in, you know, and she was only fighting for equal pay. And and but she took a hit. But anyway, she settled her case with Netflix. Now she's gonna have a, a stand up deal with Netflix. And but she fought for what she believed in, right? And there was a one there was another thing, another incident that happened where she said that she was on the set of one of the movies that she was making, a one of Lee Daniels set, and she stuck up for somebody who was being harassed. And here's the thing, you know, sometimes you stick up for people and you're by yourself. Even that person that you stuck up for is not there. 
she stuck up for somebody and this is the story and I'm definitely I'm, I'm probably paraphrasing a lot but this is what I remember the story she was on set with somebody and my mom met her my mom met Monique and she was like she is really really nice and I was like that's so cool my mom loved her she met her she thought she was really nice um, but anyway, she was on the some set shooting something and she stuck up for somebody who was being harassed or overlooked or talked down to or something. And because she did that, people got mad and then they started saying she was hard to work with and she was a bitch and excuse the French, all kinds of crazy stuff. So she kind of got blackballed for a few years from acting. Like nobody wanted to hire her. You know, they didn't want to hire her so she didn't get any work. So she has a podcast company, podcast, listen, listen. I heard Wendy's about to get a podcast going. Listen, y'all better stop sleeping on podcasting. Yes, I'm not a journalist, but I am a podcaster. So anyway, you know, but she's made up with Lee Daniels, and now she's coming out in one of his new um, new movies. And I said all that to say that sometimes life kicks you down, but if you are right in what you believe, you will prevail. It may be tough, right? It may be extremely tough. You may get a lot of backlash, you know, but if you fight and stand up for what you believe, you know, you got to stay the course. So, um, congratulations to Monique for, for getting her Netflix deal. I'm not, not me personally. I mean, I know it's money attached. Because here's the thing. Let me tell you about Netflix. And I was telling somebody this the other day. The thing about getting a deal with Netflix is the money, right? It's not the exposure. Because you can get, you can create your own Netflix-like channel and be on the same platforms that Netflix is on. Why do I know this? Because Noise Media Network is on the same platforms that Netflix is on. That's why I know that. When you get a Netflix deal, Netflix said, okay, we're going to give you this money to come on here and put your show. But if she really wanted to be, you know, on those platforms and it wasn't about money, because it probably was about money, because it definitely wasn't about exposure, not even in, in the least. And a lot of people probably don't know that. So it's always when it's when it's a deal to Netflix and all Amazon and all these different platforms, it's about the money. And I get it because I, I want my bag. I really want my bag. So that's what it's about because if she just wanted to do the exposure piece, it's pretty simple these days to get on, on all the platforms that Netflix is on, like Roku and Amazon and Apple TV and Android TV and all these different platforms. Netflix, is on, you can be on the same platform. So it definitely wasn't about the exposure. It was definitely about the bag, and I ain't mad at her. So she got the bag, and she's going to keep it moving. She got a couple bags. She got some bags in the deal, some bags in the works. So anyway, congratulations, Monique, for getting that deal with Netflix. I know you I know you took, I know know you you took. took some kicks in the back because of it, but it's okay because um, you, stood, you stood your course. You stood your course. Uh, the Lawrenceville City Council recently approved $193,373 contract with Bain Development Group for a pair of projects at um, Bobby Sykes Theater. Yep, they approved some stuff. The projects include a complete renovation of the existing men's and women's bathroom located on the main level. The much-needed redo will bring the restrooms into full compliance with the American uh, Americans uh, with Disability Act guidelines and provide a fresh contemporary look and efficiency to the restrooms. Also included in that contract is a repair of the existing wood ceiling. It's a wood ceiling in there? Wood ceiling, decorative columns located in the central lobby of the Bobby Sykes, Bobby Sykes Found Fine Arts Center, the former church that uh, has been a rural theater home for since 2007, is now part of the Lawrenceville Performing Arts Center. Yes, so they're making some renovations. I've been in the Lawrenceville Performing Arts Center. It is really nice. So if you want to do some things over there, go check it out. But it was really cool. We did the um, Dancing with Gwinnett. I keep saying that wrong. Gwinnett Dancing Stars. We did that. That was pretty doggone cool. So if you want to, you want you know, looking for a night out, they got a lot of things at Aurora, a lot of things over there at the, at the Gwinnett Center. So check them out. Check them out. All right, listen, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl Audrey Bell Kearney giving you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So there's going to be some splash pad renovations in Lil Burn. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, complete. They're already complete. You know, the splash pads, those are really, really cute. Um, they are where you go to the park and you see like the water shooting up out the ground. Those are the splash pads. So I think those are really nice. I took the, we, t we went out there one day and we just watched the kids just, just have a good time because, um, it was hot. So even if you don't want to go to the pool, you can take your kids to the splash pads, which are pretty darn cool. Anyway, kids can play and parents can watch them from shade. Now that the little burns, new splash pad renovations are complete at city park located at 76 main street. The, recent, the uh, city recently spent some money on that. They, they spent some money to make it happen. They spent $53,000 on improvements and an expansion of the existing splash pads, a new retaining wall, new grass, and installation of six black city um, provided steel benches and four sunshades. So you can go out there. The parents can sit under the shades. The kids can get in the water. Everybody can have a good time. I was going to say read a book, but you can't read a book when you got your kids. You got to pay attention to the children because children will dip off on you. You hear what I'm saying? You be sitting up there trying to read. They be done dipped off somewhere. Anyway, Lil Burns 10 Acre City Park has lighted has a lighted walking and jogging path, band shell, pavilion, playground, open field, and restroom. The splash pads are open. From 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Wednesdays through th through Sundays. Um, the season ends October 8th. Because, you know, we got long summers. And it's probably going to be still hot in October. Probably cause They probably going to last all the, way through, through the, all the way through to, like, October 31st. But they close on October 8th. So a little burn is, you can get out there and you can have some fun. All right, listen, ladies. You can defend yourself. Learn how to defend yourself. That's important as well. Women and girls in Lawrenceville, Lawrenceville, Lil Burn will soon have the opportunity to learn self-defense techniques that could help save, keep them safe. This month, the Lil Burn Police Department announced their free women's self-defense program. The two-day program will include classroom and hands-on instruction in risk awareness, crime prevention strategies, and physical defense techniques. The activities are intended to decrease vulnerability, help women identify risk, and explore options when dealing with threats of violence. All right, these classes are going to start august the 11th so put them on your calendar and august 11th through the august august 10th and the 11th october the 12th and the 13th and the class is going to run um, from 6 30 to 8 30 p.m so 6 30 to 8 30 p.m if you want to learn some self-defense classes you're going to you can learn from the little Barn police department again that's going to be august the 10th and 11th and then again in october october the 12th and the 13th so put that on your calendar so you can go ahead and register um, participant for this program must be 18 years or older. Girls age 12 to 17 are eligible to attend, but they must attend with a guardian. All right, they can't attend by themselves. Applicants should have ha, should also have no misdemeanor arrests within the last six months of application, no prior prior felony arrests. So if you've been arrested for a felony and it's on your record, you won't be able to take this class. Although the program is free, participants will be selected through a application process. About 20 people are allowed to participate in each class. So it's a free class, but they, it's going to be limited to 20 people per class. Those who are interested should submit their application by mail or in person at the Lilburn Police Department, which is located at 4600 Lawrenceville Highway in Lilburn. Um, applications can also be emailed. You can email your application to Ms. Smith at cityoflilburn.com Miss Smith at cityoflilburn.com so you can send your application in you can drop it off just make sure you get it in there alright that self defense classes could help you it could really help you um, Gwinnett, uh, Gwinnett County Police said that they are seeing a spike in overdose cases as a result they are urging residents to take steps to help people who are experiencing overdoses in order to save their lives Here's the thing, y'all. A lot of times people overdose because they have access to medicine that they should not have access to. Um, people give away their medicine. You shouldn't do that. All right? So if you know somebody is struggling with drug addiction, don't give it to them. So they, Especially if you want them to live. I'm just saying because some people are struggling right now with drug addiction and, and folks are not helping them. They're not helping them and they're, they're giving them access to medication. Lock your medicine up. If you know that your medicine is sitting around and people have access to that medicine and they have an addiction, lock it up. That's all I'm saying. Lock it up. Don't let them have access to your medicine because that's a problem. You know, you know they got issues and you want to, you know, you don't want to feed into the issue. You want to help them as much as you can. That's that's what I'm saying. So if you know they got an addiction, make sure to, make sure to help them. You know, just don't do it. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. All right, listen, there is a back-to-school uh, block party next Saturday, June, July 30th. Yes, the Great Eastside Chamber is sponsoring, um, along with um, South Winnet High School, they're sponsoring the back-to-school book bag drop-off and block party. Yes, school is about to start, y'all. I know some of you going, thank God. I know, I know, I know you are. But anyway, the block party is next week. So if you want to, you know some kids that need some free book bags and want to have some fun on next Saturday, it's going to be happening. It's going to be going down. The black party is going down over in Snellville. So get out there and support the uh, support the kids. Bring the kids out um, and have some fun. Pick up some book bags. Eat some eat some hot dogs and some you know some cotton candy and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's what that's what's happening. That's what's going down. Also for me, I'm hosting the Blacks United uh, Blacks. Building the Black Metaverse. I don't know. I'm, I got so I'm tired. Building the Black Metaverse for so next Friday at 9 a.m. I will be hosting the Black Building the Black Metaverse Symposium downtown Atlanta at Kit Labs, which is a co-working space for technical for the tech for the tech crowd. Um, that event is open to the public. It is it's going to be at 640 North Avenue Northeast from 9 to 4:30. We're going to be talking about the Black Metaverse. We're going to be talking about Metaverse in general. Web 3.0, crypto, NFTs, DAOs, cybersecurity, all of that good stuff. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about how you can get into these spaces um, because we're not, listen, you don't hear a whole lot in mainstream public places right now about the metaverse. You do hear a little bit about crypto because Bitcoins is very popular. You do hear something about NFT, but you don't hear it as much as you're going to hear it in the future. So right now, it doesn't seem like it's something that's important. That's the same same way Facebook was before it was important, right? It started out as this little thing on a college campus. Now people can't live without Facebook. Same thing with Instagram. It started out as this little thing. Now people can't live without Instagram. Same thing with TikTok. It started out as this tiny thing. Now TikTok is everywhere. The metaverse, Web3, NFTs, crypto, blockchain, all of this stuff that I'm talking about right now, it's going to be just like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok are right now, right, in the future. But here's the thing. You have the opportunity to get ahead of the curve by learning about this stuff. You don't have to wait till it happens. Now you try to figure out where you fit in. No, get in right now. So by the time it happens, you're already in there. So that's why I'm hosting this this uh, summit. It's called Building the Black Metaverse. We got six or seven speakers that's going to be up there talking about what that looks like and how you can get involved and opportunities that are available. You know, how long does it take to learn how to, you know, to create an NFT? What is a smart contract? You know, how do you raise funding for your, for your um, tech startup? All of these great things we're going to be talking about. How to get the support from your, your local chamber. You know, things like that. So we're going to be talking about all this stuff. And this is going to be next Saturday, July, next Friday, July 29th at Kit Labs, located at 640 North Avenue, Northeast in Atlanta. That is a tech co-working space that I am a member of um, because I am also the chapter president for BUILT, which stands for Black United and Leading Technology. And it's located out, the headquarters is located out in Dallas, Texas. I'm the chapter president for... Gwinnett County, Fulton County, Cobb County, DeKalb County, and Rockdale County. So I'm the I'm the president of all these counties, and so um, it is my responsibility to help make sure that um, we are really doing some things in the tech space. And I got a lot of stuff that I got to get going in this space, and so I will. Um, but right now, the first thing I got going is this 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 summit next Friday. So if you want to check that out. Email me, Audrey, A-U-D-R-E-Y, at noise, N-O-I-S-E, media, dot U-S, and say, Audrey, I want to come to the summit next Friday. It's free. It's open to the public. Anybody is, is welcome to come. We're going to be talking all things Web3, so be sure to check us out. All right? Cool. All right, listen, I got to go, but I'm going to go to my last song, then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day before I say, say la vie. All right? So I'll be right back after this song. <laughs> Time goes by and yet I wonder Are you and me still the same? Are you still loving the game? I know I don't You cast your spell and I went under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again? I don't know If I again Take it anymore You're my friend. 
free, set your mind free. No one knows what I've been through, but this is the end of me and you. Set your mind free. Uh, made a promise to. for the day and here it goes it says i know i always say my occupation is not dancing but dancing is in my heart dancing makes me feel good i'm gonna say that one more time i know i always say my occupation is not dancing but dancing is in my heart dancing makes me feel good little kim said that little kim said that and she you know she was right that's what's in her heart so my question to you today is what's in your heart what makes you feel good right i mean that's important because a lot of times we ignore the things that make us feel good because we want to focus on the things that we should do right because the things that make us feel good don't always bring a financial reward that makes us you know that makes sense but it makes you feel good listen podcasting is in my heart it makes me feel good that's why i do it that's why i do it five days a week that's why I figure I try to figure out every day. As I got on the show this morning, I was writing notes. Was, okay, not that I want to start another podcast, but I love this space. I love it because it allows you to tell stories. It's in my heart. It makes me feel good. And my question to you is, what's in your heart? What makes you feel good? What's going to make you get up in the morning? What happens when you do that thing that's in your heart? When you just get up and you want to dance? Music makes me feel good. It's in my heart. That's why I decided I wanted to put music in my show. There are a lot of podcasters, 1.9 million of us, right? I'm probably one of the only ones that have music in my show. If there are more, I don't know who they are because everybody has their own way of doing their thing. This is my thing. It's in my heart. The way I do it, it's in my heart. It makes me feel good. What makes you feel good? That's all I got for you today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 50 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you to life for that. I do, I do, I do. I know you're listening to me around the world. And I want to thank you so much from wherever you are in this world that you've taken out the time to listen to one second of what I had to say. I don't care if it was a second. I appreciate you and I appreciate the fact that you stopped in for a second to listen to what I had to say. I love you guys. Listen, 
Be sure to follow me on all my social media at Good Morning Gwinnett. And also, if you have an Apple phone or an Android phone, there is a mobile app in your app store for the Good Morning Gwinnett show. All you got to do is go in there and type in Good Morning Gwinnett, and you will see the app in the app store. Also, if you miss any episodes of the show, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. They're all there. And check out my Gwinnett TV. Yes, new content up there as well. And be sure to tune in on Friday. I got another great interview, live video interview. So all you got to do on Friday is go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. Click on watch live and you can watch the live interview there. All right. That's all I got for you. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. You guys stay safe out there, okay? Stay safe out there. My prayers is always out to all of us because we don't know what's going on most of the time in this world with little, little bugs flying around, dropping in on us and making us ill. But we're going to denounce all of that. We're going to stay safe out there. We're going to have fun. You're going to say good things to your neighbor. I'll be back again tomorrow to say good things to you. Until next time, my friends. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.